I started looking into immersion education because I believe Māori education is where our Māori children experience success and um, when they're experiencing success, the positive outcomes are just huge, not just for the tamariki, but for their whole whānau. The um, people that are involved in Toitoi Manoa are liked by family. I don't just see them at school. I have a, um, I have a connection with them outside of school, at the marae, at the sports grounds. We have some tamariki here that have been through a lot in their little lives. When you're thinking about whether you're in a safe environment, whether you're thinking about uh, that you're cold or what's it going to be like when you're walking home and you've got no shoes or you're, you're hungry, you weren't unable, unfortunately you didn't have breakfast this morning. If you have those on your mind, that's what's going to dominate. So we've tried to cut those barriers down to put around structures. So we, we provide breakfast for children who'd like to have breakfast. I've got the shoes. We also have um, systems where people, if they have spare clothing, we've got a clothing cupboard. We have social workers in schools. We also access kids can. Um, to support with clothing, food and basic health needs. Like for example, they will give us head lice shampoo and combs, um, toothbrushes and toothpaste. If we're having meetings, uh, we'll, we'll provide a um, van to go and pick people up. We'll provide a crash, we'll provide food so that people are fed. We have a couple of systems for our lunches where we have families at our school that can make an additional lunch and they send it to school with their children. Oh, thank you, Blake. Another example is buses. I was noticing that a lot of these children don't come on the bus, they walk, but that when it's wet, they don't come to school at all because it's too wet to come all that distance. We're just about to complete our first year trial of having the town bus funded so that these children can all come to school every day and not have that additional barrier put in front of them of paying $12 a week just to actually access the education. Some people say, well, that's not very fair, you should be doing it for all the children. Well, you go into these homes and you see that and it's not a level playing field. What do you first of all notice about the colours that are here on the plate? That they're brown. What season do these colours remind you of? Autumn. Yeah. If you want to have a bit more control over your paintbrush, you can hold it down lower. What do you think is going to happen when you do that? Any predictions? To do like something re like real and then on the other side something made up. Anybody like mixed colours. To get any um, significant gains academically, you have to know your kids. <laughs> the relationships is where we start from and with the kids, with the with the whanau, with our iwi hapu, our relationship with the rest of the school, with our leadership team um, and between colleagues, yeah, relationships is key. Best part about coming to school for me is just being loved by the teachers. They tell us like we're their, we're their children and they just love us like we're their children too. That's really important. It's not just physical. There's physical, um, mental, spiritual uh, well-being. It's really, really important that we look at the whole person. Those of us who come into Fairhaven School, without knowing it, we had become a part of a journey. And if we're able to have meaningful relationships and a, a sharing of power between our um, different uh, our whānau and the schools, well, then we're going to achieve something that is not only this generation, but intergenerational changing. We've bonded since we've been in here. All of us, we're like a true like whānau. We're, we're like, like yeah. But sometimes that gets us in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Even if like people are being naughty, we just like back them up and we're like, we're whānau and we just like each other as a whānau. My main thing is making sure that they do take their place in Te Ao Māori to be confident in wherever they go in this world that they'll always remember what they learned here. Thank you.